please put your hands together for Mr. Matt Sadler. Oh my God, good job. Yeah, keep it going for Nancy Reed, everybody. Yeah, huh? Give it up for yourselves for getting a ticket to this show. You have no idea how many pissed off people there are on the sidewalk. They're going, oh, God damn. It's Ron White, what are you thinking? We got mean in Austin. I lived here, uh, I live with my wife. I'm, I'm married. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> been married for 16 years in a row. And I love living here, but we got, you know, we're very nice to each other in Austin uh, <laughs> in person. Because <laughs> behind the wheel, we're a bunch of dicks. We are. <laughs> I got flipped off recently by somebody who was in a car seat. That's how fucking hostile. <laughs> that's as high as it gets with the obscene gesture, right? You do that, boy, that's power. You're telling somebody what's what. I got a gesture the other day that I had never seen before, and I wasn't even mad. I was, it was so offensive that I was just impressed. I was just like, fuck yeah, that was good. Like, I was on 183, and a guy shot on the on-ramp, and I had to hit my brakes and hit the horn, and I gave the finger, you know, because that's what you do. And the guy, this was amazing, he, you can use this if you, well, you probably do, because you fucking live here. Uh, <laughs> he shot around to my left, and he goes like this, he goes, Yeah. What do you do? I was like, I was like, no. Like, no. And he did it again. He goes, oh yeah. You guys, you guys, that is so offensive on so many levels. Because anybody who's been lucky enough to have that act performed upon them knows that you are not supposed to put your hand on the back of their head. Is... This is fucking rude. I don't even know this guy and he's choking me out. Like, oh! I am, I'm married, and I, where are the married people? Who's married tonight? Oh, oh, look at you. That's a fun question to ask a big group like yourselves, because <laughs> you get the people that are happy about it, who are like, yeah, we're married, and it's so fun. And then you get the other people who are like. <laughs> I love being married, it's super fun. But a thing happened to me recently. I got, I got uh, fat. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. And uh, she's aware of the problem. And she's trying to correct it, right? And I feel bad for her because I feel like I tricked her, you know, because I was skinny when we got married. And then we got married, I'm like, ah, I fooled you. <laughs> She's trying to correct the bra. She got me a Fitbit. <laughs> you guys know what this is? It's a thing that I wear on my wrist that tells me exactly how many steps I take every day, which is extremely useful information. <laughs> and I had it on, and she goes, how many steps did you do today? And I go, 7,000. She's like, I was like, is that, is that a lot? And she goes, no, no, you have to do 10,000 steps every day to be a healthy person. And here's what I've learned, Austin, Texas, is that if I masturbate, <laughs> while I'm running, <laughs> other people freak the fuck out. The manager makes me get off of the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love, I do, I love being married. She's a gorgeous woman, way better than I deserve. And uh, I, li I, like, I like to do sex on her. Uh, it, that's, <laughs> that's what I call it, because I'm very romantic. Uh, and it was, uh, it was our third date, the first time she let me do sex on her. 
and, yeah, and I was doing sex on her, and she was having a good time, which was new for me. And, <laughs> and she started really having a good time, and I was like, whoa, this is going great. And she was like, hey, we should do doggy style. And I was like, yeah. And <laughs> so now I was doing sex behind her, right? And she started to climax, which was also very new for me. And she climaxed like really like intense, like Linda Blair and the Exorcist, oh, are you? Know? And I was just holding on. I got scared. I was just like, oh, come on. And she like she punched the wall over the bed. Yeah, not hard enough that we had to go to the hospital, but hard enough that we had to go to Home Depot. <laughs> and I was just, I was just scared for my life. I was like, I'm gonna marry this woman. <laughs> and and she, she catches her breath, right? And she goes, okay, now let's take care of you. What do you need? And I was like, I don't need anything. I just wanna call my dad. <laughs> I think he'd be proud of me. <laughs> and she got upset. She's like, you can't call your dad. And I was like, well, can I call your dad? <laughs> I think he'd be proud too. I, uh, I'm gonna get out of here real quick. I, uh, <laughs> I smoke pot. Uh, <laughs> But I'm a lightweight, like I'll take one hit and I'm done, right? And I was on a cruise ship recently and uh, uh, the, after the show, the audience wanted to drink with me at the bar and I was like, okay. And we go to the bar and this girl starts talking about edibles and I'd never had that. I was like, I'm, I don't know what that, I've never had that. And she's like, you've never had edibles? And I was like, no. And she goes, wait here. And I said, okay. And she comes back with six squares of chocolate. And she goes, listen, this is really strong shit. If you've never had it before, just take a quarter of a square. And I said, okay. And I took a quarter of a square and I was higher than I've ever been in my fucking life. <laughs> Two days later, the ship gets back to the United States and we got to get off the ship. And I was like, oh man, I got to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> I, I should throw it away. <laughs> Uh, and I ate the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Remember a minute ago when I said I was higher than I've ever been in my life? I broke my record. <laughs> and I had to go through immigration and customs. Just, I was so high I couldn't form words. And I'm in line for immigration with my passport. And just, I'm just... <laughs> and I get to the front of the line and the guy behind the glass goes... <laughs> and I go... And he goes, are you a U.S. citizen? And I go, what? <laughs> and he goes, are you a citizen of the United States? And I go, oh, what? <laughs> and he gets fed up, right, and just stamps me and goes, all right, go. Now I gotta go through customs. And this is fucking terrifying, because I get there to that guy behind that glass, and I was like, I'll have the croissant, <laughs> the coffee. And he goes, you have anything to declare? And I was like, what? <laughs> and he goes, sir, did you make any purchases when you were overseas? And I go, I don't understand what you're saying. And he goes, did you buy anything from abroad? And I said, no, she gave it to me. I'm, f I'm gonna leave you with this. I'm 46 now, and this is a weird thing that happened recently. But uh, like nobody tells you about the things that happen to you when you get into your 40s. Like your body changes. And I was doing sex on my wife, and yeah, and like when you're doing sex on somebody, there's a lot of different things you have to concentrate on. You know, you gotta be like, all right, are we having fun up here? Everybody's having a good time down here. Still a party? Okay. And the whole time I'm smacking myself on the thigh with a dildo, going, "Come on, pony boy, let's do it for Johnny." <laughs> And also, while all that's going on, I gotta hold myself up, which I used to could do with one hand, but then all this shit happened. Now it's a two-hand job. 
And that's when I drooled on her. <laughs> and there was nothing I could do to stop it, right? It just came out like slow motion, like, no! And it hit her right on the chin. Yeah. And she woke up, right? Yeah. <laughs> she did. <laughs> I don't normally like to bother her while she's sleeping. But she woke up and I was horrified. I was trying to come up with an excuse, but I couldn't think of nothing to say. And my wife, before I could come up with anything, she goes, oh my God. It shot all the way up onto my face. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> you should tell your friends. <laughs> you guys have been fun. Enjoy Ron White. <laughs>